I know the history. <laughs> And one that stands out is, is 2009. You buy BGI, you buy iShares, 6.6 .6 billion. It was the Louisiana purchase of asset management. And, and apologies for all the non-Frenchies and Americans in the audience. You might have to explain to them what the Louisiana purchase is. But in other words, it was big, it was transformative. Will you ever do a deal like that again? You think something so transformative for BlackRock? Well, I mean, when we did that deal, uh, Many uh, reporters in the commentary said we're already too big and we were 2.9 trillion then and now we're 9.5 trillion. Um, and, and so the answer is yes, we are, we believe we have great opportunities to transform our company again. I am very excited about change. Um, let me be clear, we are as neurotic today as we were when we started the company 35 years ago. We're having a great time working with our clients, and we have, I do see some very large opportunities for inorganic growth. Yeah, because what, what would be today's equivalent of ETFs in 2009 that are on the verge of this explosive growth? Oh my gosh, I mean, I, getting back to this whole idea of working with governments, public, private, it may not have that type of trillion dollars of ex explosive growth, but I do believe we can help make a difference in building better societies. We can prepare societies better, working with governments in terms of preparedness for elevated temperatures in the world. Um, you know, we believe we are going to have to move more rapidly towards decarbonization. We believe that hydrocarbons, by the way, are going to be with us for a long, long time. And that's why we're working with energy companies, mm -hmm. not against energy companies. That is why we said do not ever divest of hydrocarbons, which the far left doesn't agree with me. But in many cases, the far right disagrees with me. And so I guess we're doing something right when I'm getting attacked from both sides.